hello. My name is Ziad. I'm from Egypt. Uh, uh, I work in uh, politics uh, for 11 years now. Uh, we to see that uh, the revolution we worked so hard to to achieve for so long is uh, it's happening right now. It was a great thing, but uh, in the last uh, year the military council have tried so hard to suppress uh, the revolution and destroy what we all trying to do but we are still fighting in the, uh, in the streets right now um, uh, to begin explaining what happened uh, for the past 30 years Mubarak ruled Egypt uh, as a continuous of the military ruling that is ruling Egypt for the past 60 years uh, he tried to make some uh, look, of look of democracy above uh, the world, for the world. But uh, to do this, he built uh, a weak trade union uh, ruled by the government uh, and tried to suppress uh, the working class. He also built a weak uh, party, political parties and uh, controlled them by his uh, men. Uh, that's why the Egyptian people doesn't believe so much in the, the politicians or the uh, opposition. That's why in the last election, when they, when they, uh, they start to voting, they vote for the party they thought he's going to rule Egypt. It was uh, the Muslim Brotherhood Party. It wasn't just because of, uh, of the religion's uh, reasons. It because uh, they thought he's the one who's going to rule the, party, the country. That's why he's going to, to give them jobs, to give them uh, money, to give them uh, benefits. Uh, most of the people are uh, outside of the, uh, of the st uh, state care. They don't have jobs, they don't have health care, they don't have any education at all. Uh, we have a lot of uh, numbers of uh, ignorance in Egypt. They don't know how to read or write. It's more than 30%. It's, it's growing right now. Uh, that's why also the, the, the Islamists uh, in the parliament, the first thing they did, they controlled the educational uh, committee in the parliament uh, so they can form the new educational system. Uh, also, we, uh, we have a lot of uh, privatization in the last uh, 10 years that destroyed the... the organized uh, workings, uh, classes. Uh, most of the workers right now is outside the, the uh, insurance system. Uh, they don't have any uh, culture of, uh, of, of organization or uh, how to defend their rights. Uh, it makes it too hard uh, to work with them under these conditions. And the, after M Mubarak uh, left the the office, uh, he was thrown up, uh, he gave uh, um, the power to the military because he understands they are the only one who are capable to protect his regime. Uh, in the last year, they played a, a very tricky business between the, uh, the revolutionists. They were trying to divide uh, the country. First, they started with uh, the re referendum uh, about the new constitution. Uh, which uh, decided that we will have the elections first, then we will uh, try to reform the constitution. We are, uh, have passed one year now and we still didn't start to, to put anything in the new constitution. We don't know how the new regime will look like. Uh, he continue uh, with the old men of the regime, uh, was uh, the... Uh, uh, the government of uh, Assam Sharaf, then the government of Ganzuri, uh, they both were uh, ministers and prime ministers in the time of Mubarak. They, they are not so different from the, the old regime. They continue the, uh, their work uh, to privatizing the, the factories, to expel workers. Uh, after one year, we still don't see uh, a lot of progress in, uh, in the government uh, action uh, towards uh, the big problems. Uh, the um, uh, unemployment have risen, especially af after the tourism sector uh, started to fall down, before there are no tourists are coming to Egypt, and it uh, employed more than four or five million Egyptians. Uh, 
uh, they're still continuing to uh, spell workers from, uh, from jobs. Uh, in the past six weeks, uh, there is a, a new wave of uh, worker strikes started in all over of Egypt. Uh, and the first, to the first time, the military started to attack the strikes and uh, uh, arrest the, the workers. They are starting to, to go to a new level of uh, violence. Uh, all of you, I think, have heard about what happened in the last November and uh, in uh, uh, front of the Ministry of Internal when they started to fire at people. Uh, uh, a lot of people were killed then, and uh, what happened in front of the Egyptian parliament when they dragged the girls and, uh, people and protesters in the streets and uh, uh, take the clothes, uh, clothes off. But uh, instead of uh, people to start to scare and go back, uh, we had a very big demonstrations, all uh, from women and girls who walked all of Egypt uh, saying, uh, uh, go away, uh, you are a shame council, you are, uh, you are not Egyptians, you are uh, tyrants. And uh, in 8th March, in the day of world women, we have a, also a very big demonstration on all of Egypt uh, demanding the, the rights of women. Uh, uh, just to, to make a point, the, uh, the old constitution, the old Egyptian constitution, held uh, the rights to, to work and the rights uh, for uh, equality for women, but it never was uh, applied in the, in the actual uh, uh, life. Uh, Egypt, Egypt have a long history of uh, manipulating rules. It is not about the culture, it's not about the written law, it's about the culture of respecting laws. Uh, so it is our main problem. Democracy is not just the voting. Uh, issue. It is about uh, how you accept others. Uh, in the parliament, uh, who controlled by Islamic movement, they are spelling people uh, because uh, they are just uh, uh, expressing themselves and uh, uh, rewarding zo uh, those who attack the revolution and say it's not a revolution. It's not a parliament of the revolution. It's a parliament of the military council. Uh, I think this is the main ideas and we will see. The situation in Egypt is uh, much like the situation in Tunisia. We already had the revolution actually started because of uh, social reasons. Uh, a lot of unemployment people, most of them are holding high degrees. Uh, most of them are uh, well educated actually, but they can't find a job because of privatization and because of uh, corruptions and uh, uh, they don't have any chance, uh, even if uh, they are capable of working. Uh, after the revolution, we, we thought we can uh, change this so quickly. But uh, what happened is the uh, military uh, started to uh, say uh, the economy are falling. We must uh, do uh, some uh, expels for... Uh, the, God of, the high God of Egypt so they started to expel more people. Actually, the unemployment raised from 20% uh, before the revolution, I think it's about 30% now or more. Uh, it is a crisis is happening right now. Uh, what we work to solve this uh, is not an easy uh, question, mainly because the Islamists uh, use religion to convince people that it is uh, okay to to be expelled from your job, it's okay to, to let the, the owners of the factories and the, the companies to, to do whatever they want. Uh, they tell them, uh, be patient, we will solve the problem, but actually they don't even try to, to solve the problem. They give food to, to the poor, but they don't uh, find a job uh, to the people who are looking for jobs. Uh, we, ha we are trying to build a new trade unions in Egypt especially because of uh, the old ones are all corrupted. Uh, we work to, to build independent trade unions. Uh, we were successful in some uh, areas, but we still have a lot of uh, work to do. Already the, the working class are making their own uh, struggles. 
As I said, the, uh, there is a lot of strikes all over the last years, uh, and before it, uh, actually, it, from 2008 until the revolution, we had a lot of strikes, uh, and we have a long year, 2009 and 2010, the workers uh, occupied the streets where the parliament exists. Uh, they uh, stayed there, I think, about five or six months. They, did, they refused to leave. A lot of uh, workers from a lot of companies, they all were expelled, uh, and uh, the, the companies were privatization. So we don't have a problem with uh, the, uh, the already working class. But the main problem is with the unemployment, because they, until now, they believe the promises of the Islamists is that they are going to find a solution. But after a year, they start to, to lose their passion. The Islamics say we will solve the problem, but actually they don't have any solutions. All what they said, it is about uh, killing the corruption by the value of uh, good values of the religions, but they don't present any economical or any uh, true fact of how they uh, present a new jobs, how they, uh, they solve the problem of tourism uh, that is uh, dead right now, how they will uh, uh, fix the educational system to be able to, uh, to graduate people who can work. Uh, it's one of the prob uh, social problems in Egypt. The educational system is not available to everyone and those who uh, who can get there, there doesn't have, the educational the, uh, educational system doesn't give them a tr the qualification that makes them be able to to work. So uh, the Islamics say we will solve the problem, but they can don't have a solution. Actually, the, uh, the leftists have a lot of solutions. They have a, a complete prog a full program of. Uh, uh, economic recovery, how they can uh, get money and what they're going to do with the money, how they're uh, going to build the factories, how they're going to, to solve the problem in approximately uh, five to ten years. Uh, we will have a, a new economical system who can work, but we, uh, we just need time to convince the people. And I think for what the people are saying from the parliament right now, we are going there. But the Islamic party doesn't rule Egypt. Uh, the one who rules Egypt now is uh, the military council and the old regime uh, government. So uh, the Islamic party have accepted the, the role of being the political backside for the, the old regime to, to be replacing the old uh, ruling party. It was uh, uh, Hizb al Watani, the national party is now playing the, the role of, uh, ex uh, how you say, to give legitimacy to the, to the regime, to protect uh, the regime. Even so, there, uh, uh, there was a lot of debating in the last two weeks that the parliament will try to uh, bring down the, the government and form the, a government from uh, the Muslim Brotherhood Party. But it didn't happen. In the last moment, they said, we, will, we are not going to do this. We respect Ganzuri, we respect the, the government, we respect their uh, working of uh, protecting Egypt or developing Egypt. So they are insisting of keeping, uh, uh, how you say it, um, an, uh, how is this? Conservative. conservative rule in the transitional period. Uh, under the constitutional uh, declaration, the one who will, rule, will have the true power will be the president, which is going to be elected in three months. So they understand they are going to be followers all the time. They are accepting this uh, role and they are insisting in this role because they understand that uh, they are uh, going to gain more uh, political momentum from it, not with the people, not with the street, but with uh, the government. Uh, they used in the last, the last election was, uh, was fair, it wasn't forged, but it was manipulated. They used a lot of tricky ways that been used with uh, the old regime. They presented food to, to the hunger uh, in front of the voting uh, centers. They uh, 
paid money, they do a lot of things. We have a very problem in, uh, in food shortage in Egypt, not because we don't have food, but uh, it is too expensive and uh, it, it's controlled by, uh, by a certain companies and certain people. That's why they had the uh, uh, agreement with the military council. It provided them with uh, the food and the, the main uh, needs for the people. And they presented to the people and said, we are the party of the, uh, the regime. We are the party of the government. Uh, elect us, and we will give you what you want. What's going to happen the, in the next presidential election will show us how much the, uh, the Islamic parties are going to to develop in, uh, in the next uh, in the next step there are two or s two main islamic candidates running in the, in the election one are from the salafi and one from the muslim brotherhood he is also expelled from the muslim brotherhood uh, and so the muslim brotherhood said we will support the the candidate of the army so they are keeping their their role but in this situation it gives them a very big challenge that there will be a big explosion inside the group. As a leftist, we have two candidates, two candidates for the moment. We are trying to group the two campaigns, for one as a president and the other is to be the vice president. Uh, I think we are capable of showing the people that the left still exists. Uh, uh, and uh, a lot of Islamist uh, groups are not uh, going to support either uh, of the two candidates are going to, to work with us. I think it's a, a very big uh, winning. We had to, to the first time from more than uh, 30 or 40 years. Uh, they also, as it happens in Tunisia, the Islamics started their work in the 70s by attacking the left. Now they are working with us. And even the Salafis say that their economical program are taken from the left. Although they are manipulated the program, but still, it couldn't happen before. So I think we are making a big progress of taking the momentum from the Islamists and uh, learning them how to, to accept other, even so uh, it's been done with a lot of uh, violence, a lot of uh, blood being shed by us, but still, we are, I think eventually we are going to win the battle.